Hello students, in this video I am going to explain the special characters and the horizontal rules topic. Okay, so let's, I will explain directly with the program. Let's take the program like this, opening the HTML tag, opening the body tag. See, I wanted to uh, display some information. So this is a fractional data. So one by four, I wanted to see this like one by four. So when I uh, try to see this program output in the browser so it is not appearing like uh, the fractional part okay so let's show you this html yeah. so now let's see this output here See, I got as it is what, how, whatever I have written, so same as it is I got here, but it should appear like a fraction, so it's not appearing like a fraction. So I have a special uh, character, so that is, I need to use it like this, ampersandage frac 1.4. So ampersandage frac, frac means fractional data and 1.4. So now let's save this program and see here. So now it is appearing like a fractional data okay so this is one example and dear students you see if i wanted to just see this less than symbol okay so the less than symbol has to appear here but dear students less than symbol is reserved for opening and closing of the html tags right so this is reserved this is a reserved symbol so if i if i am trying to print this this cannot be printed here okay so not only this less than symbol if i wanted to print the at the rate symbol if i wanted to print the dollar symbol i mean some symbols directly if i wanted to you know print so these symbols cannot be printed because they might be reserved they might be reserved for few things okay so uh, let's let's try to understand this when marking up the text See, we are using the HTML tags in order to mark the text, means highlight the text or mark the text. Certain characters or certain symbols may be difficult to embed directly into our HTML program. So that's what I'm saying, right? So if I wanted to uh, use, if I wanted to print this less than symbol, this less than symbol cannot be printed, okay? It is very very difficult to embed this less than symbol into my uh, HTML document. So the expected output will not be this. Okay, and this is one of the reason. Okay, certain characters or symbols may be difficult to embed. This is one reason, and the other reason is some keyboards do not provide these symbols. Okay, say for example, if I wanted to put the copyright symbol, so I hope everybody know about the copyright symbol, right? So I'll show you here. Say copyright symbol okay so this is the copyright symbol see here so copyright symbol this one the copyright symbol we can't get the copyright symbol okay so this is one of the problems so some keyboards uh, now may not provide all the uh, symbols what we need so the, here the author of the uh, prescribed textbook is giving one example here if you write like this within the paragraph tag if you write this information if x less than 10 then increment x by 1 so this information if you wanted to display this less than symbol won't appear okay it may result in the syntax error because that less than symbol is a reserved word for starting and ending the tags okay next uh, go to the next slide and see some information xtml provides xhtml provides character entity references Okay, so we have character entity references. This is very very important. What we call it as a character entity references. Okay, you need to uh, write like uh, you need to write like this ampersandage and the code and the code. The code is in the form of characters. Okay, so that is ampersandage lt. So ampersandage lt lt means less than symbol. Okay, so let's see here one more some few more examples and by the way not only character entity references but you also can express the 
special characters not only by using the character entity references but also by using some numeric and some uh, numeric in the sense decimal or hexadecimal decimal or hexadecimal also decimal values also okay so i will be showing you in these all things very very clearly so let's take this program so if i wanted to if i wanted to print the less than symbol what i have to use ampersand symbol i have to keep and write lt lt stands for less than gt stands for greater than okay i saved the program by control s and opening the program see less than symbol is coming here so similarly if i want if i want say for example copyright symbol okay so copy save the program reload the page so now i am getting the copyright symbol now if you wanted to see the ampersand symbol ampersand symbol itself okay amp so ampersand symbol and amp is the character entity reference okay so let's see how it will come see ampersand symbol is coming here okay so that's how we we are able to use the character entity references and print the required special character whatever we wanted to print okay see dear students not only these things actually uh, there are few uh, special characters which are uh, recently available with html so dl sup sub em and frac so frac i think i have already shown you at the very beginning dl means dl means delete tag yeah i think uh, when i'm explaining the text formatting tags i explained this so whatever whatever the information you write del and i will let me write some laptop company name okay so now let's see the program here output see this is getting a strike through effect okay so strike through effect you are getting here by using the del tag and what else superscript and subscript say superscript means say for example i wanted to write x square so x square so if i write like this and see output so this 2 is not coming as a superscript okay it's not a square right so if i want that 2 in the as a superscript i have to use a tag called sup and uh, you have to close that also sup you have to close open and close is mandatory so now you see here so this 2 is acting as a superscript say for example if i wanted to write something like a h2 h2 o water molecule see for example h2 o water molecule so if i write this and see here this 2 has to go down right so it looks like h2 o then so this 2 i wanted to move it down little bit so then i have to use a tag called subscript sub sub whatever the data you wanted to push it down so within that within the sub tag you have to put that information okay so save it reload the page so i think you got some clarity about it del sup sub and now let us see emphasize emphasize means say whatever the information you write here say for example you know i am writing and uh, save the program and see here so i want the italic style okay so italic style i want so i can use i tag i or tag em em stands for emphasize emphasize the textual information so emphasize is nothing but italic style it's getting okay so fractional i have already shown you in the, in the very beginning right so these are the five new characters which we have uh, in our latest html versions so del sup sub em and frac you can read the information also here whatever is available okay so example programs yeah i just have shown the example programs now you see this uh, uh, table there is a table from the prescribed textbook uh, this table this is a figure uh, there is a table uh, shows many commonly used html special characters we we have to call all these special characters with the name uh, what is it character entity references ampersand lt is what character entity references because ampersand and code lt is the code lt it's a character okay so like this these are character entity references see not only in the form of character entity references you can use decimal or hexadecimal values in order to represent these symbols 
okay so that's what i am saying here say for example if you want if you want a, a pi value okay so pi value means what is the code you need to use the decimal decimal character hexadecimal decimal character so you can use here okay so let me show you this ampersandage hash 188 let's see ampersandage ampersandage hash 188 okay just save the program and see the output here save the program file.html i am saving it like this and uh, let's see the output oh, i don't know why i am getting 1 by 4 just give me a second yeah uh, i just tried to identify what is the prob uh, probable mistake here so this is the information which i have taken from the uh, prescribed textbook so i tried to display the pi symbol by using the code whatever is provided here so it's not getting and then we have another source here you can see this is the source uh, what we have html uh, web page so just go to this page and find out what is the probable correct symbol yeah and we are looking for the pi value so pi means hash 928 so let us take the 928 928 and now let me open this file okay so now i am getting the pi value okay see uh, that's what as per the textbook uh, if we go through so some symbols are getting and some symbols are not getting i tried with the different symbols yeah few symbols are coming few symbols are not coming so if you want it so what you need to do you uh, like me just now uh, i have gone through this website and find out the correct information so like as a student you also do this uh, whatever at least for some uh, important uh, important uh, symbols important characters you need to find out the accurate code for that okay so that's all about the special characters so what are the special characters we have seen see some characters may not be appearing in the html browser window so because keyboards might not be you know in keyboard that uh, symbols might not be available and some characters are already reserved some characters or symbols are already reserved for some purpose so you can't use these things you can't print them directly so you need to use a technology called character entity references by putting at ampersandage symbol and some code so like this ampersandage ld ld means less than and uh, not only this so you have uh, the other symbols as well so for many and many symbols you can go to the uh, textbook if in the textbook if these codes are not appearing i mean if these codes are not able to produce the proper output then please go through this uh, site link which i have provided here and apart from these special characters we have uh, some other special characters like uh, del tag is there sup tag is there sub tag is there em tag is there frac fraction tag is there okay so fraction no sorry fraction super character uh, special character is there okay next let us speak something about the horizontal rules horizontal rules actually it's a hr tag hr tag or hr element okay so what it will do so let's see here uh, simply i will write the hr tag okay so what's happened when i write the hr tag so very very simple the hr tag is useful to produce one line here okay one line say for example uh, here say i'm writing apple so after apple you see here one hr tag is there and uh, next ball so now what will happen you see here apple and ball so in between what is there one line is coming how that line is coming you are not framing any you are not using any graphics right simply you are using a hr tag okay so uh, hr tag see you need to know the some of the styles okay styles to give the uh, good appearance good appearance to your line okay so i will show you what are the different different styles you can apply uh, to this to this hr tag okay 
so let's see hr style is equal to say for example see the width is by default 100 percentage right so i will do one thing i will make this as 50 percentage so i want i don't want that much of width uh, to come there so if i say width is 50 percentage see here now the width becomes 50 percentage not 100 percentage okay so this is one thing width you have uh, you got to know right so now let's see the height also see this is a cascading style sheet uh, way of writing the program style and the what is the first style width so now i wanted to write one more style so after every single style you have to put the semicolon and then write the next style if you want to give space give otherwise not required height and uh, height uh, you have to put the colon symbol and say for example 20 20 percentage 20 percentage okay so if this is the last style no need of putting the semicolon okay so in between the style different different styles uh, to separate these styles you have to use a semicolon so save the program so height i am mentioning here you see height okay so height this much is not required okay 10 percentage is required so height you see so this is the height of this uh, hr tag now what i will do uh, i wanted to give the color say for example background color background color uh, background color say for example i would like to give the red color okay so don't write cbo l o u r cbo l o r according to html so okay so this is the color okay so i think you got good information so what are the three different styles width i am applying height i am applying and the background color i am applying so this is not required to be in terms of percentages also you can specify in terms of pixels say for example uh, 5px okay 5 pixels and see the program here this is 5 pixels so you make it 50 pixels and see the width so like this uh, so you you need to pra have a practice so on practice you will get to know uh, what is 5 pixel means what is 500 pixel means what is 10 percentage means what is 20 percentage means so what is 2 percentage means okay so that's all about the hr tag yeah. so in this video i have covered the special characters and horizontal rules right thank you all of you if you have any doubts please come back to me Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.